So we've seen a big pump for crypto finally. People have been waiting for this pump for a long, long time. And today we're deciphering, is this a bull trap? Should you be scared? Or is this a go sign? Are we ready to go back up to all time highs for Bitcoin? We'll be discussing all of that and more. So make sure you tune into the end. And I'll also be covering five trends that might be good to invest in long term, as well as a bit of Bitcoin and Ethereum analysis. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. Enjoy. So let's talk about the market right now. We're at 3.75% increase, which is great to see. And a lot of people are getting very excited. I'm looking on Twitter and I'm seeing a lot of people talking about Bitcoin going back to 40,000, 50,000, setting new all time highs now, just because we've seen a four or 5% pump. Now, now I'm not saying that's impossible, but what I am saying is just be very, very careful. You know, there is such things as bull traps and we've seen them many, many times before. And we don't wanna fall into that trap once again so just to be aware of things let's go over some key levels let's take a look at the market and really delve deep into what is happening right now and what could happen on a higher level an institutional level that could drive the price higher or lower so right now we've got bitcoin above 30,500 at 30,600 up 4.4 percent today we've got ethereum just under that 1900 dollar mark which was above that earlier and we have a few other coins up as well in terms of the biggest gainers we've got waves up 30 percent almost six dollars after its detrimental fall in the last couple of months we've got helium up 20 percent we've got thor chain up 15 percent some of the coins i did expect to go up quite a lot you know thor chain being one of them that was down at like under three dollars which is just incredible to me considering this coin has been very very high in the past now if we take a look here and we go to the fear and greed index we're at 10 which is one of the worst times we've had in a long long time despite the price coming up we've seen extreme fear taking control still so we're at 10 which is not a good sign in terms of general sentiment you know we do want to see this come up for people to start buying more and get more happy with buying for the price to go up but at the same time as we always say when people are scared that is the best time to buy or the best time to start dollar cost averaging however you want to get into the market so that's just something to note there people are scared but that means generally retail is wrong and therefore we will most likely see a pump or something in the coming few weeks now let's take a look at the charts quickly for bitcoin right now this is why everyone's so excited look at this big juicy blue candle and this is something that we have been waiting to see for a long long time and haven't seen for a couple of weeks at least now my main thing still stands and you know i'm not changing my mind on this one bit we have to break 32.6k in order to get anywhere in this market you know in order to claim back any sense of an uptrend we need to be breaking 32.6k because that is the most recent kind of lower high before the leg down that led to 25.5 thousand dollars on the four hour chart you can see it a lot better you can see this was the trend we had the push down we had the kind of retest there and then we had the leg down further so in order to break into an uptrend we need to take out the previous leg which means we have to break the high here at 32.6 thousand dollars now apart from this we do have this level still withstanding at 27.7k down to 25.3k this level for me is still definitely a possibility but let's just take a look at the upside potential before we look at the downside potential so i do still have the downside bias until we break this level but just for those of you that are looking to be bullish and looking to take some trades to the upside this is what we can see here of course type of wedge pattern this is typically a bullish pattern we've seen the breakout we have seen a significant break of this level as well so that's a good sign at least but if i was going to take a long trade i would be taking it somewhere in the realms of here so anywhere between 28.8 and 29.5 i would wait for a retest of that you may see a nice bounce from this level maybe even up to this level to retest it but i wouldn't get your hopes up just yet because i do think there is a lot of liquidity piling up around here that might be needed to take out but hey let's take a look at ethereum as well just so we know what's happening there we did break down again i do think we're most likely going to just test this level up here around 1950 and then come down into our major target which has been anywhere between that 1300 and that 70 or 1650 level for quite a while now so that makes sense to me if we can come into that and then we can start to move up a lot more and get back into that kind of 3k realm and maybe even 4 or 5k at some point this year let me know by the way guys what do you think bitcoin and ethereum are going to hit this year be very interested to know make sure you follow us on twitter at crypto busy because we're always talking about it every single day doing lots of giveaways at the moment as well but yeah i saw this survey here which said that bitcoin is going to hit ninety three thousand dollars this year what do you think about this do you think this is potential do you think this is potentially a thing that could happen or do you think there's no chance that it's going to happen these are some predictions that has been made so we have the january 2022 predictions so that the end of 2022 we've got seventy six thousand three hundred and sixty dollars end of 2025 we've got 192 thousand dollars and the end of 2030 406 thousand dollars now i'm not sure how how accurate 
these are like what they're based on but you can see here that they've got a lot of different things that are coming into it and they've got these panelists that are expecting these prices but I don't know if I believe you know that it's going to go that high in the very near future but I do think 100k in in the next year from now is possible I just don't know if it will happen in the next six months I definitely think we'll go back to that 50k plus level definitely maybe 50 to 60k but again everyone needs to be on board we need to see a bullish market a lot of things need to happen in the right way for Bitcoin and right now that's just not happening with all the fundamental things that are going on in the world right now as well things are not looking great for just for markets in general you know we're seeing the stock market absolutely tank as well and unfortunately bitcoin seems to be getting more and more tied to gold and also the traditional markets the more it stays around but that being said it is a hedge against inflation and we're seeing huge inflation right now so as long as that continues that's a bullish thing at least for bitcoin but yeah that is just one prediction i saw there which is interesting we've also got ethereum's merge coming up very soon which is going to be interesting to see how that affects the growth of ethereum i'm very very bullish on ethereum in general and let me know if you guys are too but that is one thing that i think i'm really looking forward to especially the whole proof of stake introduction to see what happens there and if that actually increases the value of ethereum to people and something else i thought was notable it was the five key trends to watch according to grayscale so grayscale obviously massive company and uh big big bitcoin investors and they've got five key trends to watch the first one is the crypto infrastructure development so the digital economy requires the tools and services that facilitate access to and usage of crypto and so they think exchanges wallets and analytics software essentially is going to grow even further and i definitely agree i think exchange coins are great buys and in fact if we even go back on to coin market cap quickly just a few i mean we, bnb to be honest is still a good buy in my opinion i think that's going to be one of those coins that holds its value well it doesn't seem to crash as many as uh, other coins do and uh, i really think uh, just binance in general will be around for a long long time and we've got coins even like uniswap and other ones that i think will end up doing quite well and then you can look at the lower exchanges as well and maybe you can take a punt on them you know they might end up doing well as well so there's the second one which is more protocols than ever before the increase in the number of different crypto protocols is staggering and is not slowing down so that's another one to take a look at and then of course web 3 and the metaverse is going to be huge i mean it already is huge it's all everyone seems to be talking about so you have all the major people kind of following the trend you've got jp morgan involved in the metaverse hsbc you've got obviously facebook changing their name to meta so i think this is going to be something to look into nfts a lot of people think they're a fad a lot of people are just a phase but i do think the concept of an nft and having that ownership on the blockchain is going to definitely be a good thing whether that's for tickets whether that's for other things but maybe not just as our but as other applications i can see it being big and then five which is new regulations and policies it'll be interesting to see once crypto is more regulated will that make it grow harder and faster or will that make it kind of a slower but more reliable thing it'll be interesting to see how that affects it let me know your opinions on all of that as well but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video today just a lot to talk about if you did enjoy please leave a like it really helps us out and subscribe to the channel help us get to 220,000 subscribers and i'll catch you in the next one guys bye mm -hmm.